Hey, this is Justin from Gold Penguin, and today I'm going to show you how to install Google Analytics on your Breakdance WordPress website. So to start off, make sure that you have your website set up. I have it locally, so I'm not going to be able to see everything today, but uh, have your website set up. And there's two ways that we could do this. The first is going to be through a plugin, and the second way is going to be through custom code. So probably the easiest way that you could do this is to go to plugins and search for SiteKit, which is a plugin by Google. And this does a little bit more than just Google Analytics. It has Analytics, Search Console, which tells you how many people are, uh, how people are finding your website through search engines. It has AdSense if you want to monetize your website. And then, of course, Analytics. And Analytics is just going to tell you like the pages that people have been on your website for how long. And it's pretty useful. So once you install SiteKit, you're going to start setting it up. Um, it's actually not going to work on here, so I'm not even going to bother doing this now. But this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to be showing you how to do it manually. But yeah, so you're going to connect this and you're going to sign in. It's just it's not going to work since I'm on a local website. But to do it manually, go to analytics.google.com, make sure you're signed in and you're going to create a new account. So I'm going to just call this Justin Gold Penguin and just continue setting up your account. So you're going to create a property and the property is going to be what you add on your website. Make sure to add your time zone and make it the time zone that you want in so it'll give you accurate numbers. Let's call this breakdance goal test. Okay, and yeah, keep the currency. Uh, make sure to set this up accordingly. Uh, this doesn't really matter what you do. Uh, accept their terms of conditions. So now you're going to be at the screen where you can create a property. And so the way this is going to work is we're going to create a new web property. It's pretty simple. And you're going to type in the website. In this example, it's not a live website, but you know, you'd put in your, your website URL and then you'd call it um, whatever you want. Keep advanced measurement on. It'll give you some more options if you're trying to track everything. And then once you create it, it's going to be pretty easy from there. So you're going to get this measurement ID, which is going to be pretty useful. You could copy that. But um, what we're going to do is view the tag instructions. And we're going to get this piece of code. And so copy this code. And it's going to have that same number that you had uh, earlier, a few seconds ago. But copy this whole thing. And we're going to move back into Breakdance. In Breakdance, we'll go to the settings of the actual plugin. And we're going to go down to custom code. And so now we're going to see option for header and footer. So header is going to insert this code at the top of your website. So as your page is loading, um, this is also going to go on every single page. So as your page is loading, it's going to load this tag and just set everything up there. You could put it in the footer, but that won't take effect until your page loads completely. So I recommend putting it in the header. And once you're done, you're going to save changes. And it's literally that simple. So if you have any pages on your website, you could view it. and I don't think this is going to show me that the traffic is coming through only because the website's not live. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And so once you're here, you can go to Gold Test or go to your home. Once you set it up, you can go back to Google Analytics. There's reports and a bunch of other things that you can mess around with, see where your users are coming from, and get a bunch of other stats. This will take a couple minutes to go live. It actually worked pretty quickly for me. But I would say check this over time and see how your users come back and you can measure a bunch of stats with this. So, yep, thanks for watching.